story tonight in Pinellas County where a family may finally get justice after 30 years. In 1980, a sexual predator killed their 10-year-old daughter on her way to school. Larry Mann is now scheduled to die by lethal injection on Wednesday. Our Serena Fazan is live in Palm Harbor for us, the scene of the crime, where police are wondering if there were other victims. Serena? Good evening to you, Brennan. You know, Elisa Nelson's body was found right there in what used to be an orange grove. Now a school sits there. But what took this case so long? Well, some members of Nelson's family simply say the killer had a great legal team, while others say there was a problem in the process. And as you mentioned, right now, detectives worry there may be other victims. She was just a sweetest girl, and she's beautiful. Only one of Elisa Nelson's family members chose to speak out. Her aunt asked us not to show her face, but didn't hide her feelings on waiting 32 years for Elisa's killer, Larry Mann, to face justice. I am absolutely disgusted. Uh, it's just a slap on the face for us to be paying for him to be alive up there when he admitted to the crime. Detectives say Mann, a well driller, admitted to grabbing Elisa and taking her to an orange grove just blocks from her school. This is a crime scene photo of Pinellas detectives finding her body. Her aunt knows her niece fought for her life and at least prevented a sexual assault. The forensic evidence proved it. Her aunt says Elisa stabbed Mann in the neck with a pencil. He got her out of the truck and it wasn't very long until he slit her throat from ear to ear. And she was on her knees and she was crawling around and, and the, the evidence shows that she spent a long time crawling around that grove um, trying to get away from him. The facts are eerily similar to three open cases in Mississippi dating back to 1973 when Mann lived there. Just today, a detective from Mississippi put in a request to speak to Mann about the deaths of a 13, 16 and 20 year old. If he has committed other crimes, I would think for the families of those victims, there should be some closure there. She has nothing to say to man. I guess the thought of even speaking to him is so disgusting to me. Now, she actually wants to be at the execution, but she will not be there. She says a rift in the family, uh, this tragedy has caused a rift in the family. But I did speak with Elisa's brother, who was only 12 years old at the time. He plans on being there. We did put in a request to man. He denied talking to us. Back to you.